Hey, I'm Jonathan with Zapiet. Tim from Smile gives us some great tips on when to implement a rewards program to the most interesting e-commerce trends right now. Hi, I'm Tim Peckover, the Senior Manager of Marketing and Community at Smile. Smile started as a loyalty program provider on the Magento platform before pivoting to Shopify, BigCommerce, and now Wix. Smile is the world's largest loyalty program provider for scaling e-commerce brands. What are some examples of stores using Smile successfully? Three stores that do loyalty with Smile really well are Bloom, Copper Cow Coffee, and Colon Canary. All three of these brands have really cohesive, integrated loyalty programs that feel like part of the rest of their customer journey. They have great VIP points and program names, as well as great imagery in their banners and icons. So it just feels like something their customers want to engage with. It doesn't feel like something that's separate from the rest of their brand. It's really cohesive and it matches the rest of their brand experience and the, the brand aesthetic. What are the top three tips to success through loyalty in Shopify with customers? Three tips to be successful on Shopify as far as loyalty goes would be to really know your customers. You have to understand um, what they are looking for in loyalty and a loyalty program in order to build something successful for them. That means you actually have to talk to them, whether you're calling or emailing, if you have SMS, you need to talk to your customers. You need to find out what makes them tick and what they're interested in. Next, you need to be really engaging and be where your customers are. If your customers live exclusively on Twitter, then maybe don't try to motivate them to follow you on Instagram if that's not where they are. Um, understand what your customers are looking for and then actually build a program that caters to that. Um, it, it doesn't work if you know what they want and do the opposite. You have to build something that your customers actually want. Um, and then from there, you need to segment. You need to, whether you have VIP tiers, whether you just have a loyalty program um, and segment based on whether they're part of your program or not, but make sure that you're segmenting your audience and targeting your offers, your marketing, your deals to the customers that are going to get the most value from it and that are gonna, mo gonna be most likely to convert and add that value back to your business. What do loyalty rewards look like offline? To utilize Smile and Loyalty offline really means integrating with your point of sale. With Shopify point of sale, you can integrate Smile so that your customers can earn points online or offline and have it contribute to the same points balance. So they could buy something in store one day, buy something online the next day, and all the points from those purchases are going to go together. They can cash them in online or offline if they've gone to your, your brick and mortar store. How does a merchant know they are ready to implement a loyalty or rewards program? To really know if you're ready to implement a loyalty program, really it just, if you're a business, you can integrate loyalty. A loyalty program can help you acquire, engage, and retain your customers, depending on how you set it up. With referrals, you can acquire new customers. You can use the different earning and, and redeeming actions to drive engagement with your brand. And you can retain them by having those point balances, keeping them coming back to spend more, earn more points, and just have that cycle of loyalty continue and continue. So what are the most interesting trends in e-commerce right now? Some trends that I'm seeing in e-commerce right now that I think are really interesting are TikTok. Obviously, a lot of people are using it. A lot, a lot of people are using it. Um, and seeing more brands get involved too, whether they're creating content or just the different features that TikTok is coming out with, um, integrating with Shopify um, and other platforms to make advertising, native advertising on the TikTok platform actually beneficial for e-commerce brands. And the last trend that I think is really important is omnichannel. I mentioned it before when I was talking about having your point of sale and your, your brick and mortar experience be connected with your online and just making sure that your customers can shop with you no matter what and get the same shopping experience. Um, if you have a brick and mortar store, make sure it's the same, you know, experience that you have online. Obviously it's gonna be different online versus offline, but make it feel like the same company, make it feel like it's still shopping with your brand. And omnichannel also means engaging with your customers uh, in a variety of ways. If they exclusively use SMS, have that as an option. If they exclusively use email, have that option, but also let them move between the two, integrate with uh, customer service desk software so that you can they can text you, they can call you, they can email you, um, they can engage with you on social and all of those ways tie together so that you can have just a cohesive customer journey. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Check out our other expert talks in the next video and visit our hub of content.